Welcome to Minity Maths. In this video we are going to cover the essential symbols used in set notation. Set notation is a powerful tool that helps mathematicians describe relationships between elements and sets. Whether you're working with numbers, letters, or any other objects, these symbols will be your guide. The most common symbol used in set notation is the curly brace. These are used to represent a set. Set elements are placed within the curly braces. Throughout the video, to help explain the following symbols, we will use these two examples, set A and set B. This symbol denotes, belonging to. It is used to indicate that an element belongs to a set. In the example, the element 8 belongs to set B. Next up we have this symbol. It represents a set containing no elements, an empty set, which is also known as a null set. In this example, we can see that set, C, is an empty set, as it doesn't contain any elements. This symbol represents the union of two sets. It gives us a set containing all elements that belong to either A, or B, or both. For example, this set is the union of A and B, as it contains some elements from set A, and some from set B. On the other hand, this symbol indicates intersection. It gives us a set containing elements that belong to both A and B. In other words, the elements occur in both sets. In this example, the elements 2 and 9 occur in both sets, and therefore are an intersection of A and B. Next up we have the symbol which represents cardinality. Cardinality is a fancy word for the number of elements in a set. For example, the cardinality of set B is 5, as there are 5 elements in set B. This symbol represents a subset. A subset is a set containing only all or some of the elements of another set. For example, the elements 2, 7 and 9 are a subset of set A, as these elements occur in set A. On the flip side, the same symbol but backwards, represents a superset. A superset is a set containing all of the elements of another set, but also possibly extra elements not contained in another set. We have now covered the essential symbols used in set notation, although there are many more. Thanks for watching Minity Maths.